bitch. We're talking with our boy Willie. You know he's got the shit. He's dancing real hard. I know you'll never get sick of it. He's got that T on, got that long, sexy hair. You know he's about to take his shirt off. His abs so bare. He's got a six pack. They call him Suburban Commando. He's a big motherfucker and he's dropping it low. He's about to slap that ass, baby. About to slap it so hard. You ever seen this motherfucker running naked through your backyard? We're talking video talk. We're talking video talk, bitch. We're talking video talk. Get your video talk. You best subscribe. You best subscribe or die. You best. Good evening, YouTube. Hello from Video Talk. I'm Willy, and tonight we are gonna be talking some videos. Video talking here. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Welcome to live show. It's a live chat, so you can chat with me, obviously. And here we have Krisha Key is in the house, and Kese and Jade Cinemaniac and Jarski and Freakasoid85 and California Jani are all online, and maybe. 20 other more people, hey, yes, that's great, great, great participation on your behalf. And now, today we are gonna be talking about Black Friday, especially Vinegar Syndrome and Severin Films, movie Black Friday purchases. I will tell you what I have gotten for me, and also I have few tips for you, perhaps you get, uh, I know, I, I know perf perfectly well that Probably most of you have already, uh, you know, checked out the uh, Black Black Friday stuff, and maybe you have placed your orders. But maybe um, there's still time, so maybe I can give you more further tips if you are interested. And of course, uh, if you have any tips, you can you can send your tips to me through the chat, or uh, if you're watching this as a recording, you can use the comments field to send me some. Send me some tips <laughs> yeah, of the things I need to get. And Timo M is also in the house. Good evening to Timo M as well. And hey, if you can do me a favor, hit that like button. And if there's new people around uh, in the chat and uh, or watching as a recording, uh, can you do me a favor also and subscribe the channel unless you have not done so already. Better Boop Max Dennis, happy Sunday! Hey, Better Boop Max, Max Dennis, what's the time over your in your time zone? Here we have eight o'clock in in our freezing Finland. <laughs> yeah, it's ten minus ten degrees Celsius, so it's freezing my freaking balls off. I went to the restaurant last night and god damn, it was a cold walk. Let me tell you, oh my god. Jesus Christ, not even booze and wine didn't warm me up enough. I was freezing my goddamn balls off. We were having a kind of like a celebrational little Christmas party last night in my, my house, which also includes a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, can you freaking believe that? So we and a bunch of friends, we went, we hit the town last night. Volunteer says it's freaking cold. And good evening from Denmark. Pulp Viking is from Denmark. Yeah. Here's the good tip. Don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> what if I especially like that yellow snow? And brown snow too. Yeah. So without further ado, let's go to the... Let's go check out first Vinegar Syndrome and then we moving to the Severin Films Entertainment site. Yeah. And Peter Max Dennis says I've been eating Tres Leches cake. Medica medicated. Woo, what's Night of the Demons last night? I don't know what is Tres Leches cake. I have absolutely no idea what is that thing. <laughs> Tres Leches. <laughs> Sounds French. And hey, also let me know if the sound is okay, uh, if, if it's in sync and stuff like that. If there should be any technical issues, let me know in the chat. Oops. Yeah. Now, let's enter the Vinegar Syndrome site. Here we have it opened not right now for your viewing pleasure. And I will first explain you what I got from this Black Friday. 
Wood Wood Fanta. <laughs> I bought way too much from vinegar yesterday. Hey, Pulp Viking, I'm interested to hear what you got. And also, uh, uh, of course, I'm in interested in er every, every other watcher's uh, uh, pur purchases. Hit, the, hit those hit those hole in the chat. Uh, oh my god, it's 45 people watching. Hey, that's gotta be some sort of a record. Record for a long time record. Okay, first of all, hey, I'm a Vinegar Syndrome subscriber, so that means that I have gotten the Vinegar Syndrome Lost Pictures show. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this box, because this thing includes 10 films, very obscure grindhouse films that have never been, never ever before been released, at least on Blu-ray. And it is an expensive box, it's $111, I think, of, it's a little bit bullshit this this price here, but now it's 74 buck, 74 and 20 bucks. I mean euros. Yeah, I'm I'm from Europe, so it will show me prices in euros, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's let's okay, let's talk fucking dollars. <laughs> 79.99 dollars is this lost page. Hey, anybody got this? Did anybody purchase this? Because this is also my recommendation. Even okay, let's okay. I cannot recommend this because I have not seen it. So let's scrape that off from the recommendations list for now. And uh, Daryl is coming out. I think I have ordered this, pre-ordered this uh, in front now. I'm not terribly excited about the Daryl film because I think it's more of a kitsch film, but it's it's 80s film, it's got some computers and robots and shit, and also it's a Vinegar Syndrome Ultra, and also I have all other Vinegar Syndrome Ultras, so I gotta get that one right. Uh, obviously I have to get that too. Now, Prophecy 1, one to 3 box I'm gonna be getting as a subscriber. I have seen prophecies one to four and one to yeah one to four, and this includes all the, on 4K the first three prophecy films, all films that have Christopher Walken in them. I don't know. I, I wouldn't recommend this. I'm not terribly excited about this box. I don't think the any of the prophecy films are especially unique or good. But yeah, I guess they are worth rewatching on 4K10. Lagusapat says Fatal Games rules. Yes, also Fatal Games I'd be getting as a subscriber. And uh, the existence, the David Cronenberg film. Okay, this was the this was uh, announced, you know, uh, on Friday. Um, people were guessing from the tips they gave that bone picking. Film from a familiar director of seeing 4K premiere. So lots of people were guessing David Cronenberg's existence and they were right. I have seen this film. By no means it is, you know, David Cronenberg's best film. I think it's a little bit too weird. I have seen it, I think, at least twice. I have the DVD. I guess this too is worth rewatching on 4K. But not not Cronenberg's best work, but it includes neat body horror elements and also um, I think it was had some good gory scenes in it. And forty four bucks and ninety nine cents, uh, quite expensive. But it's it is two disc set and it seems to be including a shit ton of extra features. So any any existence fans in the chat. Prophecy 1 is good, the rest is trash, says Pulp Viking, yeah, yeah, it's, and mind you that Prophecy in, in my opinion is, is not a masterpiece, it's, it's okay. And Betamoops Max Dennis says, I'm so pumped for the Lost Films, yeah, I think this is, the Lost Film is the best release, best announcement for the Black Friday. But let's go through the other uh, releases too, the Black Room, okay. I have never seen this, it's an unknown film for me, this Black Room, but it is an American film directed by Ellie Kenner uh, from year... co-directed Norman Thaddeus Wayne. Where I... where this is familiar name, I don't remember. But anyway, it is from year 1981. 
some sort of slasher. But can't comment it because I ain't seen it. Uh, mildly interested in this. Anybody seen the Black Room? And any recommendations on Black Black Room? And Tutiputti says I will definitely order Fatal Games. Yeah. Okay. So this is new film. These are new films, and these are not in Black Friday sale on on sale. Uh, the Black Friday sale takes fifty percent off from everything that is released before before May two thousand and twenty three. But I think the subscri subscribers anyway get the uh, price off from all releases. I, I haven't checked if the subscription even further discounts the price. I don't know. Probably not. Kese says, I will buy last films when price goes down. Yeah, that's smart thinking. Um, Pulp Fiction says, I also brought v Werewolf vs. Vampire Woman, The Beastmaster and Mexican Gothic. Yeah, I already have, I have The Beastmaster, it's great. <laughs> it's no Conan the Barbarian, but I think it's funny, sword and sorcery film from the 80s. And uh, Werewolf vs. Vampire Woman, a fun Paul Nashi film. Yeah, it's okay. And also Mexican Gothic. I have Mexican Gothic, but it's behind my in my shelf. So that means that it is still unwatched. <laughs> I think that was released in summer. <laughs> I still haven't got the time to watch it. Okay, Untold Story, a Category 3 film, and this is a sequel. I have seen part 1, and that is indeed a grisly film, but I have never, never seen the part 2. Is there anybody who has seen this? But probably it's gonna be some extreme shit. But hopefully it is <laughs> at least half good as Untold so Story. But without Andy Lau, uh, who was the actor? Andy, 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 Andy. Who is the crazy guy actor? Hong Kong and Andy. Why did I forget the name? Somebody will will probably say it in the chat. I'm really looking forward to Beastmaster, says Pulp Viking, and you should. Uh, I should get Cardano Volume 2, says Tutipunti. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up for Cardano 2, too. Yeah. Andy who? Andy freaking... Oh, it's, it's in my tip of my freaking tongue. Andy... Andy last. And Andy Lau. An, Andy, Andy... Anthony Wong. Anthony Wong. Yeah, Andy Wong. Hey, it is starring Anthony Wong. Okay, I stand corrected. Okay, but I I ain't seen this uh, Untold Story 2. It's Vinegar Syndrome Archive, VSA 040. And this was also an announcement on the, uh, the, the, on the Black Friday. And I have already ordered this. And hey, a gun for Jennifer, also another uh, Vinegar Syndrome Archive announcement. And I have seen Gun for Jennifer. I think I have seen it in cinemas. I, I have a, a, a recollection of clearly of seeing that in cinemas in in a film festival. But I, honestly, I don't have any any recollection of what kind of a film it was. It's a, a rape and revenge film. Some female bunch of uh, vigilantes goes after the men who rape or something like that. But I have no, absolutely no recollection. Was this good or bad or whatnot? I bought Victoria. Has anybody seen it? No, I haven't. Cardona Volume 1 had pretty boring films. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> maybe so. Have you known before that the Soul Survivor has finished VHS, Will? Tupes, I did not. <laughs> but I think I know what you're referring to. <laughs> uh, that is in Hoot on it, and I have placed my bid on that film, and hopefully I will win that. Yogolanak asks. If I'm familiar with Black Room, no, I haven't. I just asked from the audience. Are they seen Black Room? I have, I have never seen Black Room, so can't really comment on it. But Vinegar Syndrome is putting it out, and 
it is VS 452 slip cover. Okay, so you heard me that I got Gun for Jennifer and Untold Story 2 and maybe I have already pre-ordered Daryl and all other I will be getting as a subscriber. But then there's this new Degauser video. A new sub-label from Videga Syndrome, Degauser Video. And it says here, Degauser Video is a brand new label created by several of the devious minds behind Vinegar Syndrome, which will bring Blu-ray deluxe editions of both canonical and underseen shot on video genre cinema. In addition to work shot on film but edited on tape, herein original film matters are believed to be lost or destroyed. No. Similar to Vinegar Syndrome's focus on film preservation, Decauser will work only from uh, original analog tape materials with emphasis of maintaining the aesthetics inherent on uh, each respective video format. Additionally, each title release Decauser will be made available as an ultra-limited new VHS edition fitted in a custom-designed de hard shelf light box. Okay, so the first release is Redneck Zombies. I have never seen it. I have seen clips of this and it's shot on video, so it's, it will look shit. Absolute dog shit, but I guess there's fans for fans for this type of um, presentation of films. Well, I, I could be a fan also. You could you might say that. But I hear this is pretty bad, but it is gory. And it's, it was made, distributed at least by Troma. Yeah. Is Terminal Island any good? No. <laughs> As a one word, in one word, no. <laughs> it's an early performance by Tom Selleck, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be putting my money on Terminal Island. Finland is in the EU, so you guys pay a lot of import from outside EU. But yes, yes, it is, yes, it is, and <laughs> Denmark as well. Uh, yeah. But I, Vinegar Syndrome, they, they take care of these this import fees. Uh, I had requested Dreadneck Zombie says Jogolona, it's a dark menacing atmosphere, sleazy, really unsetting in a good way, a hidden gen scene, beat up VHS. Betapoop Manix is biased against shot on video, but make that dollars. <laughs> and hello to Sami Adams. Hey, 55 people watching. That's absolute great. Great numbers. Hit that like button, please. Can you do me a favor? Hit that like button. And if there's new people around, remember to subscribe the channel. Subscribe the channel. Okay, Decauser video, like you heard previously, I read the text. Decauser video is also putting this out on LED VHS. <laughs> and yeah, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I got the VHS, but these things look absolutely great. So it's a VHS tape which has a LED light in it. I have never even heard of this the invention. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it, even though I cannot play NTSC VHS. Okay, uh, I... I uh, no, take that back. I have a VHS recorder that can play NTSS, but it's not hooked. It's in the, in the basement. But yeah, I, won't, I don't think I'm gonna be ordering, the, viewing the VHS because I ordered the Blu-ray and I did order the LED VHS. And also I ordered Rat Limited Deluxe LED set. I don't know why. I already had the Rat Blu-ray, I mean 4K Ultra HD. And this is D DV002X, <laughs> whatever the hell that means. But yeah, anybody else else got the, these LED, LED VHSs. And this is only item that is sold out. Uh, you can still get this VHS if you want. There's 38 left in stock from for Redneck Zombies. So if you are interested in getting this special LED VHS, you should act now. I don't think this, this will survive to see the tomorrow. 
I think it will so sell out. But I was thinking that, yeah, usually these special editions, they sell out like in an hour. But this, I think this time it took over over um, over a day to sell sell out even the rat limited edition. So, and this was this was probably this was 300 copies of of this 500 units was made of rat, and how many units was made on redneck zombies? Uh, uh, 300 units. So they have not been selling that fast, especially fast, but yeah. The packaging is very cool, I do agree. VHS, that is amazing. Not, ah, Jokolona, you was talking about Black Room. Okay, sorry, it's my bad. <laughs> so so Jokolona says, uh, I had requested the Black Room. It is dark, menacing, atmospheres, lazy, really unsettling in a good way. Hidden gen. Okay, that's great. Great to hear that uh, it's good shit coming up. Apparently, Existence has already sold over 7,000 of 10,000. Really? Okay, so Existence have been has been selling... Okay, I don't know where did you get that information. It says here over 10,000 left in stock. And they have been producing 10,000 units. Okay, that's a huge number for vinegar. How many units was, was produced? Let's say prophecy. How many units that was made? Ten thousand also. Okay. So they really have apt, amped up their uh, production amounts. How many copy? Ten thousand. Okay. Ten thousand. Great. Great. Okay. So there you got my my Black Friday. I didn't get anything else from Black Friday. I got the VHSs and the Redneck Zombies and v VSAs. The, these were the things I got. And also, they were announced the slipcover from Angel and Avenging Angel and Angel Tree. Yeah, usually I get these reissued slipcovers, but I already have the packaging for the for the uh, uh, Angel trilogy. So I don't think these slipcovers will fit inside that package and probably uh, <laughs> there's no point getting slipcovers if you're gonna hide them in the inside a package <laughs> now is there yeah i didn't get any of the teasers or any other any other uh, extra material so yeah that is my my purchases and also if you have anything any any Anything to report what, what you got, hit that in the chat. So let's talk about that too. Hey, now I give you my recommendations of the Vinegar Syndrome Black Friday that discounted titles that I think they are worth getting. So, oh, okay, I won't go here. I will go all Vinegar Syndrome releases and then I will jump to the page. Was it page... Three. So I believe here begins the. Mm, no, I think we have to go to page two. Oh, uh, okay. So the discounted prices. Let's say that discounted prices begin. Begin from blue lights. I wouldn't recommend blue lights. Um, the first one I would recommend, my official recommendation would be, well, Primal Rage. I think Primal Rage was pretty funny. Slasher, uh, slasher zombie flick uh, made by um, the director uh, Vittorio Rambaldi, who is the son of Carlo Rambaldi, the famous makeup guy, and Carlo Rambaldi. Rambaldi have been doing the special effects. If you have not seen this, I think uh, it's a good price from 4K release, $22. So I think that's a great price. That is my first official recommendation. Tupes didn't order anything this round. Okay, maybe I can interest Tupes, Tupes uh, with my tips then. And I will do the same on Severin, so I won't be counting these. Uh, I, I won't be including, I will do, <laughs> uh, I will do 10 on Severin 10 also. Oh my God, T goodbye 20th century. <laughs> it was, it was horrible. 
I hated every minute of that film. Has anybody seen Goodbye 20th Century? It's a very weird... It is... What's this from Macedonia? It was... It was... Uh, this was bad. This was bad. I... That is, that is not recommendation. I consider the killing kind a hidden gem. I think I have the killing kind. Uh, yes. I have killing kind uh, still on my unwatched list. I haven't be, I haven't seen this and I have also the Finnish VHS of this film, but I have never I don't think I have never watched it. Okay, but recommendation number two, definitely from beyond. Oh, it's 22 bucks and 4K edition. It's a great presentation of the film. But sadly, you won't get the limited edition anymore. It is sold out. But standard editions, there is still, there is only 904 left in stock. And this has been selling very well because they, they did 7,000 units of the of the 4K Ultra HD combo, but even the standard edition is selling out fast. I, I'm not sure if they will be doing re, um, reprints of it. It could be, but yeah, if you if you have not seen From the Beyond ever, or uh, have seen it a long time ago, I think From Beyond should be on your shopping cart. It's great, it's great, and the picture is fantastic. Exodus Attack, great channel mate, perkele, perkele. No niin, Exodus Attack, have you subscribed the channel? And all other people there in the chat, have you? If you, if there, there, if there's new new people there, subscribe the channel, please. I will appreciate that. And hit that like button, Exodus Attack, perkele, <laughs> perkele. Okay. Infernal Rapist, my recommendation number three. Infernal Rapist. I did even I even did an own video of this. This is great. This is so insane film. This is absolutely mental film. <laughs> it's it's about rapist who gets executed, but the Satan appears and tells this rapist guy that hey go back on earth i will give you your life back and i will give you drugs and money but you just have to be keep killing people and raping people <laughs> it's it's insane if you if you want to check out more on infernal rapist go go see my video but i think that you can still get the limited edition steel uh, limited edition slip cover over a thousand in stock uh, out of 5,000, so it might sound very, <laughs> very non-PC, and it is, it is. But if you're not ashamed to order a film called Infernal Rapist, I think, check it out, it's great. Okay, Jorma has watched Infernal Rapist a couple of nights ago. What did you like? How did you like the film, OG Jorma? Okay, three recommendations. Ten. Okay, why not? Why not? Okay, fourteen. But fourteen dollars. Hey, by the way, why does this price? I think they vinegar syndrome should fix this. But ah, okay, it's from. But Kurutsu, the beast of the Amazon. I think this was great. If if you are at all a fan of fifties schlock cinema, I think you should get Kurutsu, beast of of the Amazon. It's Vinegar Syndrome Labs uh, number 001. And you could get the standard edition for $14.99 and the limited edition. I think it has great slipcover. Get that limited edition. 1200 co copies left in stock out of uh, 4000 units. So hey, that's my recommendation number four. OG Jorma would recommend The Infernal Rapist. <laughs> Is Argento's trauma any good? Well, it's not it's it's not Argento's worst and it's not Argento's best. I I wouldn't recommend it, but 
Yeah, if you are, um, if you mu- if you must see Dario Argento's every film, then it's a recommendation. But if you're a casual watcher, I probably wouldn't recommend. Re- wouldn't recommend it. Hey, Roadhouse is sold out completely. Holy shit, balls! Not even standard edition is still in stock, and this was <laughs> ten thousand copies. Okay, limited magnetic box. I don't know how many copies they did standard edition, but I think it's great to see that an absolutely fantastic film that has sold out. Okay, recommendation number four, definitely The Invisible Maniac. This is also, this is crazy film. It has so much nudity in it and it's about this crazy guy who invents this serum that will change him into an invisible maniac. And then he goes to squeeze the ladies and then starts to kill killing kill people also. It's a horror comedy directed by Adam Rifkin and yeah that, that is that is fantastic. All right. I wish I had enough to buy more from Vinegar Syndrome, but had to split with the Severn despite their shitty postage. Yeah, money can be an issue. Hey, Sworn to Justice is already sold out. Okay. Yeah, moving on. Hey, Tammy and the T-Rex. That that definitely could be something I recommend. Get the 4K standard edition. Only 88 left stock. Act now, because this is fantastic. Fantastically absurd horror comedy about this guy who <laughs> is killed and his brains are put into this robot dinosaur. <laughs> Dennis Richards is absolutely fantastic in this. She's so, she is so cute. And it was her first film. This is a recommendation. VS 300 Ultra HD. Get the standard edition. 88 copies left. Okay, that's five. Let's see furthermore. Okay, hey, definitely $24. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, this is only a standard edition. But hey, 4K Ultra HD, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Most of you probably have this, but... I think Texas Chainsaw Massacre belongs to every movie enthusiast movie shelf. Okay, that's my recommendation number six for you guys. Werewolf versus Vampire Woman, I could be recommending this, but it's very acquired taste. You need to be a fan of Paul Nashy film to appreciate the Werewolf and versus the Vampire Woman. If you are not if you're a casual viewer, probably not. Don't get that. But hey, Christmas is coming. My recommendation number seven is don't open till Christmas. This is a great demented Christmas slasher directed by Edward Bourdon, who also acts uh, is an actor and is, is playing the lead character in this film. Now, <laughs> this was also produced by Dick Randall. I mean, that, that guy produces very... <laughs> Very crazy films, and this is no exception. Don't open till Christmas. Get this for Christmas. Watch it next Christmas. I know that probably most of you have not seen this. It's a more like a little-known film. So that is my recommendation. Seven seventeen dollars and forty-nine cents, and only standard edition. Only five hundred thirty-eight left in stock. So. That might be running out, not necessarily on this sale, but eventually. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Why not? Why not recommend Amityville Horror? Classic, classic, seventies horror film. It's not as good as something like Exorcist, obviously not, or Omen, but I think it has this. Um, a nice creepy atmosphere. Josh Brolin and Margot Kidder plays in this film. Okay, that is that is my recommendation number eight for you guys. I mean, the real horror. I wonder what's happening to all Vinegar Syndrome's all 
going out of print is someone else with licensing or maybe 4k plans i don't know uh, they you sometimes they usually they restock the supply for standard editions but not necessary or every time so no need to pay what when package from vinegar arrives here in Finland. At least I don't get the I don't have to pay the what because they have IOSS and when the FedEx uh, when the FedEx brings them to Finland, I think vinegar syndrome takes care all of the import fees. But I'm a subscriber. Maybe I don't know if it's I have heard complaints that some people have to pay the what, but. I really cannot pr promise you 100%. But if you are ha if you get the uh, you know paper that you need to pay the what you need to contact vinegar syndrome and explain the situation. Hopefully that will resolve it. Okay, hey, did I recommend already 8 or 7? <laughs> I lost the track, lost my count, but hey, this is definitely my recommendation, The Incredible Melting Man, Standard Edition, $22.49. Great presentation of this kind of a nice schlocky film, where this astronaut goes to outer space and returns then, and he starts to melt, and he needs human blood to survive. Great special effects work from Rick Baker, and nice gooey melting effects in this one, and a severed head. I think this is... Fantastic, it's, probably, it's a fantastic Halloween creature feature. Check this out. My recommendation number eight. Amityville 2 is better movie than original. Hey, I do agree. Tammy was so much better than I expected, anticipated, recommended. Yeah, Tammy and the T-Rex, it's great. I Tutti Punti says, I haven't paid any what DHL guy just brings the box. And I'm not a subscriber. Okay, Tutti Punti, thank you for your comment. So, there you go, Tutti Punti. Uh, volunteer, there you go, Tutti Punti is not a subscriber and does not have to don't have to pay for the import fees so there you go okay two more recommendations then we move to severin films okay <laughs> okay hey writing wrongs even if you're not fan of hong kong action i think writing wrongs is pretty good film and this is a great release and you still there's still limited edition slipcase on sale a 978 on stock so i will recommend writing wrongs and watch the original cut with the uh, kind of like a the dark ending it's it's crazy this includes also a 40 page perfect bound book and it's limited to 6000 units so you still get the limited edition slipcase so this hasn't been selling uh, that fast than the others <sighs> Any fans, any any fans of right wing wongs, <laughs> right wing wongs. So one more recommendation. Let's go to the next page. Dead Wish 2 4K is sold out. That's too bad. That is a great release. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so basically I will recommend every on every film on this row. Thriller, A Cruel Picture. Come on, you gotta see that. It's a Swedish film. Thriller, A Cruel, cruel Picture. Uh, UHD with slip. 520 in stock. 24 bucks. Yeah, great price. Flesh Eater 4K, that's absolutely great Halloween film, absolutely crazy, gory film, hey, get that, get that also. Limit, you still get the limited edition slip cover, nice. And hey, <laughs> Alien Private Eye, you, got, you gotta see it, this is, 
Uh, this is absolutely crazy and trashy film. It's so stupid. You have to see this. Breakdancing alien who is a private eye. <laughs> and of course, if you have not seen Miami Connection 4K Ultra HD, hey, this is absolutely must. I mean, ninjas on motorcycles in Miami dealing cocaine and the rock band called Dragon Sound has to fight these motorcycle ninjas. And the packaging, this is great. This is very cool packaging. And yeah, entertainment value on this film. Great music, great great kar kar karate scenes and b bad acting. And <laughs> everybody knows the mailbox scene, so... <laughs> <laughs> if if you if you like trashy cinema, get Miami Connection. If you have if still haven't got this, o only six hundred and sixty left in stock, so this might actually go out of print. Yeah, Miami Connection, twenty four dollars ninety nine cents, four K Ultra HD, great deal. Uh, the book Amityville Horror is a really scary read. I, I haven't I haven't read that. Right wing wrongs dark ending broke my heart. Yeah. Okay, hey, that is been. A, I'm I'm sure there's lots of lots of great stuff. Uh, more lots of more great stuff that I could recommend for you, but. Yeah, I don't want to be all night here, so let's go to Severin 10. Yeah. So Severin, we got the bundles and hey, I haven't buy, bought, I haven't yet bought anything from Severin, but I think I will do some purchases. So first up, we have the bundles, Black Friday buns, bundles, everything bundle. Just the discs bundle, Della Morte, Della More bundle, and whatnot bundles. But hey, Molto Suavi bundles. So what is that? So let's go check out the Molto Molto Suavi. Um, let's check out the releases then. If I put here View All. God damn it. Yeah, here yeah, Black Friday new releases. Let's check out the new releases. So first up, uh, the Cemetery Man Della Morte Della More got 4K disc release and uh, with even with the soundtrack. Okay, yeah, I have complained about the high price of uh, Severin film, but I think I need to get this all these my, Michelle Suave 4Ks Cemetery Man The Church The Sect. I think these all deserve the 4K treatment, and this especially looks very nice release, this Cemetery Man. And the church, I like the artwork. It's great, it's new artwork, but it also includes the original artwork. I like it. I will put the church also to the shopping cart. And then let's check out the sect. Anybody have, is there anybody who ordered these things? Jokolonak says that the mailbox scene was my favorite too. <laughs> yeah, in Miami Connection. Yeah, that's great. I don't think I have ever seen the sect. I have seen the church and oh, I have seen the Cemetery Man, Della Morte, Della More, but I don't think I have seen the sect. But I will soon see them. Okay, Stir, it's an Australian film. This looks pretty good. But uh, maybe I wait for the sale. And hey, also a new, at least a new Buddy Giovinazzo film for me. Uh, the Unscarred. Also, uh, which year this was? 
Uh, I can't find which year this was. But hey, Buddy Giovinazzo, the guy who directed uh, Combat Shock and also the what was the what was the film with Tim Roth? Hmm. No way back. But I have se not seen the Unscarred, and I am very interested in seeing the uh, Unscarred. So maybe I will put the Unscarred to the shopping cart. Anybody seen the Unscarred? <laughs> yeah. Raiders of the Living Dead. Okay, I know this film by its name, but I. I I I can see I I haven't seen it. It's it's so damn weird that everyone should experience it. So see, this is some sort of like a horror comedy, right? Yeah. Uh, mildly, I'm mildly interested in that. And something called the Dead One. I don't even know this by name. So don't ask me what is this fi film about. See erotic rituals bringing the dead to life. See the one voodoo princess call on the dead ones to kill, kill, kill. Okay, maybe this is from 70s or even 60s. But I'm just guessing here. Any comments on the dead one? Okay, that is the new releases section. Looking quite nice uh, Black Friday merch let's not go into the merch section there's TV t-shirts and whatnot uh, maybe we go to the new releases and see the sale prices then Dr. Butcher MD 4 disc special edition I'm very I would be very interested but I I don't know how many times I have bought Dr. Butcher I have the first I had the VHS Greek VHS then Finnish DVD then I got the 88 films Blu-ray then I got the Severin Dr. Butcher edition I'm tired to, of getting zombie holocaust I have even seen it in the cinema so Ah, I'm sick of zombie holocaust. I mean, it's great, but I don't want to be just getting another release on zombie holocaust. Okay, Count Dracula, Chess Franco's film. You remember I showed you the Finnish VHS of this thing. But, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I will. It's a 4K Ultra HD release, and this is, uh, to my knowledge, this is the first uncut negative. First uncut release of Count Dracula. It says here, Madrid film archivists made a startling discovery the uncut camera negative of Count Dracula in pristine condition and untouched for 50 years. Okay, maybe maybe I need to get this thing. Come on, why not? Okay, add to cart. Anybody, anybody seen Count Dracula? I have seen it. I have seen the Finnish theatrical print of this. It's a crazy film. Very poor special effects. Uh, Nightmare still is still in stock, fifty-five dollars. I could say the same thing about the Nightmare than Zombie Holocaust. I have seen this in cinemas. I have multiple versions of this. I'm sick of this film too. I mean, it's so freaking boring. Zombie Holocaust is not boring, but Nightmare is a freaking boring film. Come on. Uh, every Everything good happens, you know, like <laughs> within last 15 minutes. Okay, Journey to the Center of the Earth. It was nice, nice adventure film. Hey, where can I find the fucking... Fucking Black Friday film. Where is them? Why is it so fucking hard to find them? We have all. <sighs> Why? 
Ah, okay, so it's under here. Uh, first time first time on sale okay that's nice service first time on sale hey now I will give you my 10 recommendations for the Severin films hey actually action mutante I haven't seen action mutante is it any good didn't they also have the 4k hell the 4k ultra HD Hey, twenty-four dollars ninety-eight cents. Add to card. Hey, that's a great, great price. I will add this. Uh, Alien from the Abyss. Well, not necessarily a recommendation. Attack for Seed. No, not a recommendation. Extraterrestrial visitors. <laughs> I can't recommend this. The five days, I haven't not seen it, I hear this is a terrible Dario Argento comedy film. I haven't seen it, so really cannot comment on it. Uh, let's go to the shop all, shop all section of the, of the page. And yeah, maybe I find, find the discounted prices. Yeah. Okay, don't go in the house. House on the edge of the park. These are great. But there's also already there's a 88 films, 4K Ultra HD on House on the Edge of Park. Night of the Demon. That's a great film. Okay, this could be my first recommendation. Night of the Demon. It's a great release. But also there is 88 films version of it. So. Maybe this is not necessary to get from Severin. I I was limited since I wanted sleep, Sleeps for Blood for Dracula and Action Mutant and presently not available elsewhere, but got Cemetery Man and Spider Labyrinth, says Jogolonak. I don't know any oh, I don't know any of the Severin titles so far. So maybe you get some Maybe you get some inspiration of getting Severin into your collection, Mr. Pulp Viking. Violent Streets, uh, great looking box. I have not yet watched uh, one single film from it. $95. Hey, yesterday there was a uh, box set sale. You could have got this for $60, $60 yesterday, but that was yesterday. Today you will pay 95 bucks for it. I think it is the regular price of this thing. But hey, it's a great looking box set, but have not yet watched any of these films. But looking forward to watch it someday. So expensive, especially with Potsdits, even with flat and duty. I've never paid duty from, from the States before. Yeah, that is that is uh, that is a bummer. Yes, I hear your pain, my man. I hear your pain. Uh, Charlie eighty eight says, "I hope Spider Labyrinth will get a release from eighty eight films. Severing shipping rate is ridiculous." Yeah, it's a flat rate if you order over two hundred dollars worth of stuff. Then it's twenty five, twenty five dollars, and yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty. P pretty st steep. Okay, action mutante. I already can't really recommend it because I ain't seen it. But moving on, I will give you the second recommendation. Okay, Born to Fight, Cup Game, Double Target. These are Anthony M. Dawson films, uh, or was there Bruno Mattei films? Ah, uh, Bruno Mattei. Sorry, I got mixed up. Great covers, but I don't think. Any of these are like a, you know, must see. Hey, the change list, that's a great picture. I don't have this release, but this is a very spooky film. I will recommend the changeling and this is the only place or was this released by Studio Canal in Europe, this changeling 4K. Now I don't remember this. Yogolak agrees with Charlie, but was too excited to finally see that decent release. Pass it up. Yeah, Spider 
uh, spider labyrinth. Uh, I have Spider Labyrinth, I have some sort of weird bootleg DVD of Spider Labyrinth. I have watched it like millions of years ago. Don't remember too much about Spider Labyrinth, but I think Yogolonak Yogo seems to really like it. Hey, now 65 people watching. Hey, this is a great number to have people in the, in the live show. Hey. I, I thank everybody of you and I will hit this thumbs up for each and every one of you watching right now hey put that put that thumbs up in in your youtube window now hit that thumbs up button like button and if there's new people subscribe the channel too that will that will uh cheer me up JK is in the house. Hey, JK. Hello, hello. And Charlie88 says, I totally understand Jokolanak. It's been on my wish list for a long time. The Spider Labyrinth. You're probably talking about that. But hey, th that was my recommend recommendation to uh, the Changeling. Uh, then let's move on to the next title that I can say that I have seen. Faceless. Okay, Jess Franco's probably the most mainstream film of Jess Franco, and this includes lots of gore. Uh, it's a slasher kind of a deal where this slasher villain is killing young people, young women to get their was it doing some sort of a plastic surgeon operation or something. <laughs> he needs parts of young females to accomplish his. Mission. Also starring Lina Romay and Brigitte Lahai. Lots of nudity and great gory scenes. And even Telly Savalas in, is in this film. Yeah. And Chris Mitchum. So that is my recommendation. Number three. Faceless 4K release. $24. Not a bad deal. And hey, maybe I could recommend this. I have the female executioner. I have the VHS. I have not yet cut this. Maybe I put this in my cart. The female executor. Was this also a Jess Franco film? Starring also Brigitte Lahai. Uh, no, it's not Jess Franco. It's Michelle Caputo. Yeah. But this looks great. Oh, l'électricité exécutrice. I don't think I have watched it. This is great and cost me 70 euros. Volunteer, what do you mean? Which film do you mean? Arsi! Yes! Hello, Willy the Man from Tampere with fists of dynamite and kicks of lightning. Yeah, that is... That is freaking me. Woo! Yeah, moving on. I have seen this. Can't really say that I recommend. I have Incredible Strange Films by Ray Dennis Deckler. I haven't watched one single film from, from that box. 20, 20 releases I still have to watch. Oh boy. Hey, my recommendation. Is it number four? Is it now? <laughs> okay, I forgot how many have, have I already recommended, but... Okay, let's call it The Beast in Heat, my recommendation, number four. Now, this is very grisly film, uh, the cover also tells you this, and it's very shitty film, but it's, it's very funny also. It's about this, it's like two films blended in together. The first picture is, is like a war movie with this. Italian partisans who are fighting guerrilla war against the Nazis and then the second story tells kind of Ilsa's type of tale in the in the in the concentration camp where this female doctor performs this nasty experiment experiments on its victim it's so it's so mean-spirited that it is and poorly done so it's very funny and then there's this beast <laughs> who is a hairy hairy ape looking guy who rapes women in the concentration camp i 
Ah, this broadcast cost 70 euros. Hey, volunteer, what did you get? Okay, volunteer, I'm very sorry about your loss. <laughs> Run, says Pulp Viking. Synapse also released Convent on 4K. Expensive, but looks like a fun move. Hey, I, I saw Convent's trailer on some German Blu-ray, and that looks very funny. Also, the Severin, but I guessed it. Inside got released on second. Yes, I I noticed the announcement from uh, from uh, uh, second side. Okay, Beast in Heat, uh, my recommendation part four, ten out of the blue. Okay, I have I have seen this like millions of years ago. I would like love to see the 4K. I will add this to my cart ten. But th this is not a recommendation because it's not fresh in my memory. Return of Captain in Invincible, <laughs> I won't recommend it. It's a musical. <laughs> it's very stupid. But here, if you want to see Christopher Lee sing, then you need to get Captain Invincible. Volunteer got Thriller Trauma and Inferno Rapist. No name, no name. Volunteer. <laughs> that cost you some d serious dough then. Yes, Second Sight. I think Second Sight is a very quality label. It's a high quality label. Okay, Stone. It seems that lots of people like Stone, but maybe I'm not one of them. I had high hopes for Stone, but I think it's a little bit lackluster biker film from Australia. But definitely House on the Edge of the Park, I would recommend it, but there is already a 4K. Maybe you need to get that from 88 films. Night of the Demon, I already recommended. So that's great. That's absolutely fantastic. Hey, has anybody got this Night of the Demon uh, novelization book? I am a little bit tempted to get that. Hey, my recommendation... Uh, <laughs> what number is this? Ah, it's gotta be number five. Masturbating Gunman. Now, it's shot on video and it is kind of like a modern film. Uh, but this was absolutely cra crazy. This is about this hitman who is the best hitman in the world. But his only weakness is that if he sees uh, naked women, he has to masturbate instantly. So that is, you know, giving him a trouble when he is on a mission to kill somebody. But then <laughs> he sees naked woman. He, he's got to take his pants off and start masturbating. <laughs> Yeah, it is it is very stupid, but I, I I really liked it and the final scene has this henchman they, This evil guy Understands his weakness. So he hires like bunch of prostitutes to be naked in his in his uh, Hideout so that will present a significant problem for the masturbating gunman Not to spoil too much, but love the Beast's special diet. Uh, Yogolonak, I know exactly what you mean. Beast in his special diet. Now, that is great. And OG Yorma says, must watch. Yes, Masturbating Gunman. That is my recommendation, number five. Go get Masturbating Gunman. $90. 90, uh, surprisingly high price. Uh, given that this is a very uh, lot, lots, lo very old release, I think it's two years old at least. Okay, can't recommend Nasty Happens. Haven't seen it. Uh, all Hounds are all ours. Haven't seen it. I don't have it. Uh, this too. Hey, Eyes on Fire. I was supposed to get that for Henry. I will add this to cart. My pal asked me if I could order this. So he will join this. But Eyes of Fire, I think I have seen it, and it's a part of that box set. This All Hounds are ours. It's a it's a uh, folk folklore horror film. I have some someday seen it on VHS, but 
I have no recollection of was it good or was it bad. I don't know. But yeah, I added it to the shopping cart then. Okay, hey, definitely, hey, definitely. Raiders of Atlantis, my recommendation number six. This is a great film. This is absolutely balls to the walls, crazy Italian action film starring starring uh, uh, Chris, Christopher Donnelly and Tony King, King. And in this film, they are trying to, you know, raise a sunken nu nuclear submarine, but somehow they fuck it up. So they, instead of submarine, Atlantis rises from the sea. And there's this evil crystal skull and its gang, and they're coming out of Atlantis and to start and start terrorizing people in Miami. Will these two Vietnam veterans have the balls to stop the evil forces of Atlantis? Great soundtrack, Oliver Onions. Fucking love that shit. Yeah, uh, this is my recommendation. This is a huge recommendation from me. But I think most of you probably have seen it. And also these two are great. These are great releases. Warriors of the year 2072. Lucio Fulsi's uh, Blade Runner. <laughs> and also Joe D'Amato's Endgame. Hey, that's great too. Post-apocalyptic. Uh, kind of like a running man film. Style of film. Like with this TV show and shit. But hey. I gotta, I gotta ask you. Severin or other releases. What? Where is Joe D'Amato's Texas Gladiators 2020? Why, why do, don't we have release yet of that? Why? Hey, House of the Lost Woman. Okay, this is a uh, Chess Franco film and this was absolutely very taste, tasteless film. <laughs> it's, it is this family living in, in this island and they have this retarded daughter and not retarded other daughter who is not retarded and husband and wife and they're fucking each other oh that was <laughs> this is so this was so crazy this was so so not politically correct so you gotta see that this is my recommendation number seven yeah i i don't usually <laughs> recommend chase frango but Bloody Moon and this. They are great watches. And Faceless. Yeah, I recommended Faceless too. Has anybody seen The House of Lost Woman by Jess Franco? My recommendation part is number seven. Hey, why not Andy Warhol's Dracula? Yeah, it's a great. And this is a very cool release. 4K Ultra HD slip, slip pack release with uh, soundtrack as well. I have shown it uh, in some unbox video, so yeah. So three more recommendations. Hey, okay. Hey. Siege. A Canadian small budget vigilante urban, urban violence film. Uh, very, very famous in Finland because this was very popular on VHS and I think it's a great film. It is much like John Carpenter's Assault on Precinct 13. Not necessarily as good, but almost. It's almost there. It's about this group of people who fortify themselves in an apartment and then this, this street gang uh, is in the apartment building and they are trying to kill kill this, these guys who are inside the building. That is my recommendation number eight. Seventeen dollars and forty-eight cents. Why not? Yeah. Cannibal man. Well, hey, 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 hey. My number nine. If you are getting Atlantis interceptors, if you have not seen Strike Commander, this is this is. I think this is, this is on quality with Riders of Atlantis. Red Brown plays Rambo in this film. I mean, this is like almost scene to scene <laughs> reenactment of Rambo 2. Only with <laughs> lots, lots less of budget and 
<laughs> very bad dialogue and poor acting. See Red Brown crying, and when you remember the scene where this kid is getting got himself shot, and Red Brown goes, "I will take you to Disneyland." It got cotton candy grows in the trees <laughs> and popcorn. <laughs> it grows in the in the in the land. <laughs> you gotta see it. That's funny. That's it is a hell of a lot of fun. This movie definitely get for seventeen bucks and forty eight cents. Definitely get Strike Commando. Unfortunately, the Strike Commando is not at all a similar type of film. I think Strike Commando do is. It's just poor. But yeah, maybe if you get Strike Command 1, maybe you can put this also in your shell, but do not expect as good film. <laughs> Tutti Ponti has, has seen Strike Commando and <laughs> Disneyland scene. <laughs> it makes me laugh when I think about that scene. It's fucking great. Okay. So... Ten, I have no, eight recommendations. <laughs> I forget the number again. But hey, Santa Sangre, Alejandro or Yorodovskin, San, Santa, Santa Sangre, he slasher film. Okay, it's a little bit acquired taste, but it's got so, so weird things going on in this film. It's like a circus film, but the circus is... There's some killer in the circus, and then there's gory scenes. But the, I think the visually, all Jorodowski's films, they are spectacular. And Santa Sangre is not an exception. Yeah. It's like a... It also reminds me of Todd... Uh, Todd Browning's The Freaks. So, somewhat. But Santa Sangre is a great deal. 4K Ultra HD digipack set, $29. It's great set. It looks very good. The set is uh, very beautiful and includes also the soundtrack of the film. Tutti Punti says and Strike commented that the second one is just bad. Yeah, yeah, man, it's bad. Okay, that was my ninth recommendation. Santa Sangre, that's great, get it. And one more recommendation. Let's go to the next page and let's see if I can find some balls to the walls crazy. Perita Durango, I think it's great. $24 for Ultra HD with slipcover. Hey, great deal. But I will not recommend this. I will save it for something spectacular when it hits my eye. Why not? Day of the Beast is great. Nosferatu in Venice. Well, I think the documentary about Do Klaus Kinski. It was it was better than the film. Uh, uh, can't comment this. I have not seen them. Okay, No Way Home. Okay, I think it's great film. Budi Budi film No Way Home. It's a great film, but not necessarily the last recommendation. But hey, keep that in mind if you're. Uh, if you liked Combat Shock, then it's a great watch. Raiders of Atlantis sounds great. Trying to avoid ordering from Severin. Yeah, the import fees, they, they fucking chew your wallet up. And Magic69 says Santa Sangre is way better than Freaks. Get it. Yeah, get it. That's right, Magic69. Get that shit, man. Okay. Patrick still lives. <laughs> I think Patrick still lives has the about the funniest first 10 seconds ever in a film. It opens two guys they are fixing the car uh, uh, aside the road. They are fixing the car and other car drives past and somebody throws a bottle out of the car and it hits the guy guy in the face. So this happens in first was it even five seconds of the film? It's literally the first shot of the film. So then it, it, his face is all red for blood. And, ah! Then it hits with the credit sequence. <laughs> it's like, what? What's happening in this film? Great start. Okay. Massacre in Dinosaur Wally. Great 
picture, but not a recommenders. Primitives, I I really waited for the. <laughs> okay, I gotta tell you, primitives. This is <laughs> this is the weirdest fucking thing. It's Barry Prima starring in in a cannibal film that hardly has any cannibals in it. But I don't. I still doesn't understand why this film opens with the uh, the robots song from Kraftwerk. I do not understand how how does it fit for the theme of the movie and it's like shots of the jungle and Kraftwerk's robots is playing <laughs> in the soundtrack. What? Why? Why? Why that song? <laughs> and also I find it very funny in the opening credits it says assistant director one assistant director too, but for some reason they have decided that they need to shorten that n title up. So it says as director one, as as director two. So this film has so much as it needed two <laughs> special directors for the only the, for the asses. <laughs> but <laughs> unfortunately, this is a very boring film. I it's I won't recommend this. Charlie's 88 recommends Wild Beasts. That's a great. Hey, you're quite right. Wild Beast is pretty fantastic. So somebody puts somebody puts acid in the water stream of the of the city, and the, there's a zoo in the city, and the animals drink this LSD water, and they they become they become insane. Wild Beast. I will show the Wild Beasts. If I can find the wild beast. Yeah. Okay, where is the wild beast? Wild beasts. Fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. I have the wild beast and yeah, it's great. But I will find one more recommendation for you, and it's not the wild beasts, and it's not the primitives, <laughs> even though it's funny. Hey, I Enigma Fulci Demonium, yeah, yeah, for the Fulci perfect, pe perfectionists, but not a recommended. Hey, when the wind blows, okay, that's great picture. That's goddamn great picture. Hey, Astrologer, the first movie from. Uh, James Clickenhaus, the director of The Exterminator. I haven't seen this. I will put this in my cart. Oh, shit! I have $322 in the shopping cart. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have to take something out. God damn it. But at least I qualify for the free shipping. Woohoo! Hooray! Henry Hellander says, Tim Roth... Does his best does his best performance that I have seen on No Way Home? Hey, that's a great statement. I think you're absolutely right. Okay, moving forward, maybe I find some balls to the walls crazy to recommend as a final film for you. Hey, in fact, I have not seen Bakanini Horror. Is Bakanini Horror great? Killer Crocodile. Hey, okay, 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 okay. My final recommend recommendation is absolutely number 10, Robo War. And get this limited edition, 3000 units only. I mean, how long this has been on sale? I'm pretty sure that they have, you know, uh, did a re reprint of this because I don't think this has. <laughs> This cannot be, you know, selling less than 3,000. So you will get the soundtrack, and that soundtrack is absolutely crazy. And yeah, if you are getting Strike Commando, you need to get Robovar as well, because these were shot back-to-back, -back, I believe, uh, directed by Bruno Mattei and starring also Red Brown. And this is a remake of Predator. <laughs> Only but this thing includes this robot who's got it makes this kind of sound and is in the jungle and killing people from left and right and hey see Rep Brown screaming 
if you like that, then Strike Command and a Robo Bar is for you. And make sure you get this two disc limited edition because you will also get the get the uh, soundtrack as well. And Yokolon says great extras on the Santa Sangre set too. Yeah. It is. And this too has a great set of extras. This is a high recommendation. It is, it is as high recommenders as uh, recommenders as Atlantis Interceptors and the and the Strike Commando. Robovar. Come on man. Y you need to see this film. It's great. So, there is my recommendations. Hopefully they were useful and hopefully it it will uh, inspire you to get some of these. Hey, Bacanini Horror, maybe I need to see this. It's an Italian film also dir directed by uh, Fabrizio de Angelis and directed by Luigi Cocci. Yeah, in Night, Night Beast, elephants destroy an airplane by going to the runway runway in front of it if i remember correctly also in the night beasts the elephants step on this one guy's on his head and the head <laughs> head is is turned into a mush or was it a woman but yeah wild beasts great great picture so in my car there's way too much films uh fuck me fuck me Okay, I got the Soavis and also the Budivan Giovinazzo, Chess Franco, Count Dracula, Action Mutant, the Female Executioner, Out of the Blue, 4K, Eyes on Fire for Henry, and the Astrologer and Paganini Horror. Okay, th that is definitely o way over my limit, so maybe I need to sleep over on this, sleep on, sleep on this shopping cart. But yeah, let's see if I get this, but hey. This is basically my my show for you guys this evening. Hey, any other questions or comments there? Let me know. And if there's new people and you like video talk, subscribe the channel and hey, hit that like button over there in the below the screening, uh, the screen watch which you are watching right now. Yeah. Hell yeah! All right. I thank you for watching and it's always has it has been a pleasure like always to be talking in English for you guys of great films and let's keep the labels alive Severin and Vinegar Syndrome they do fine job Good night to Pulp Viking also Good night Yeah Let's browse a little bit lower if I find something else. Thank you, Ville. Thank you, RC. I will send you, I will read your message very soon. Any horror is probably sex and violence. <laughs> Good night, guys. Good night. See you. Don't let the bed box 